And we're back next episode of your Cox Star Stick a story. Continue to talk about all kinds of different things, especially uh, why I believe the way I believe, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and stuff like that. You know? And people handle me all they want. But that's the issue with me. Yeah. It's the issue with this stuff. People are having trouble with negativity and they're trying to find any way they can to get away from it. But some of those ways are not good ways at all. Taking your per you know, it's basically one of the biggest things I am against in terms of transgenderism is when they talk about how their perfectly healthy functional bodies are uh, messed up somehow <laughs> you know and they got to get them quote unquote fixed but that uh, mess that messes them up <laughs> so it's just really sad there i gotta work on that so let's continue on please <laughs> now i'll fight against that let's see here we got if you want answers right let's talk to professor keith glazer he lives next to me how do you call up now uh there is some stuff in here no not really stuff it's just like little vignettes you know it's not really anything special Yes, which is really weird. Why there's only one university in the continent? You got like a lion's share of the market here. Mm -hmm. It's in here. Got the uh, thing over there. If you're looking for information about social club, I heard that the front line of us. Oh, so why don't you go there? Mm. So you got like a classroom hanging out, and I can't really touch talk to these people. I can't get to them. Yeah. It's not working. So, yeah. Uh, there's a classroom. It's down here. Let's, uh, there's, is there anything in here? That's the, that's the cafeteria. That's the cafeteria. It's like a, it is a college. And you got more people talking. More people hanging out in another classroom. Decided, Bowman decided to throw away the opportunity to be one of the youngest professors ever. He began his pharmacy to stay with the people. Mm. Get a little bit of backup. A little bit of uh, history from some stuff. What's this down here? You got some lighting effects, which are not bad. Mm. Of course, yeah, you can't see your shadow. You can see your, you can see your shadow. That's, that's cool, but the shadow, and that's really cool how they do that. They actually at least have a shadow, but that's weird. Yeah, can't go up that way. Uh, nothing's going to ever keep you down. I don't know. Like, what's going on here? Oh, uh, it's a monster. It has his own meat. This is according to Professor. The Professor, I told you, there are exceptions, though. Yeah, but we'll get the one. The library. I never finished the paper in time. These are all books of the due date. Books of the reading. Place of the. Oh, yeah, to say because of this is the university library. Wait, wait, wait. What did, what did she say? It's the wall books of the places after reading them. Yeah, they really do. Don't you think it's strange how there should have been a lot of students died lately? And it's also strange how people listen to the stars have been shifting too? Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that's about, you know. But it, uh, out of the line, you know, yeah, definitely some. Your stuff. Hopefully, it's uh, nothing uh, too serious. Mm -hmm, it might be. Okay. Professor Bowman is a legendary. You know, he graduated from the Academy of Medical School in only three years. Mm. A lot of other students have chosen to do their papers on the social globe, so they probably expect out all the books. Something over there? Yeah, this place is really big looking. You know, that's really nice. So much going on, though. Mm. Those are very nice. A lot of sun, a lot of lights pouring in. It's really cool. That's about it. Yeah, there's nothing much to do. Nothing to really to do in here. It's just for it's just for a little backstory on Bowman, a little bit of information on some other stuff. Yeah, there's not much going on here. So let's go and do our uh, private action here. Uh, no. That's it. There's nothing else there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the end. That's the end of the town. That's the end of the. Place there. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. So they're working on something. I gotta have another weapon, but it's just a rumor. Well, it is actually happening. She lives with her father and just the other town. She's always boy hunting and causing problems. Let's get over there. Boy hunting and causing all kinds of problems. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a private action. Uh, what's that? This one? Private action, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you gotta get press this. I guess I'll take a walk. Yeah, okay. So we're by ourselves now. And they they basically say the same stuff. So we feel like we feel this performance, they always get what people say. So we're always there, we're experiencing this for a while, you yeah. know. Same stuff. The northern tip of the continent. The northern tip of the continent. Uh somehow that doesn't sound <laughs> sounds really weird when I say it. <laughs> so, uh, you need in that core. Yeah, there's Arena hanging out. Look at that. What's wrong, Arena? Uh, no, no, nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna go in here. Oh, shoot. Yeah. 
see. I'm trying to figure out where she would be, but we'll find out. No, nope, she's not in here. She's not in here. Mm. So I'm playing as Claude, so I gotta go talk to Pressis. Mm, you know. Gotta go talk to Pressis, and I'll go talk to her. So she's around here somewhere. I know she is. So let's go find out where she is. Oh, okay. There's Wobot. There's Ashton. Hi, Ashton. Only my opinion, but this is a very strange town. Mm. It is, but there's lots of good stuff going on here. Hi, guys. A race for me. Oh, <laughs> I can do that. Mm. I'm certain I've seen you before. What do you want? What is What is it you want? Mm. It's true you have. I'd like to talk to you, ask you about something. Is this a pickup? I love pickups. Mm -mm. No, no, that, that's, that wasn't what I had in mind. That's what I have in mind. <laughs> oh, heck yes. Uh, yeah. Well, you don't have to be so sure. That would be exactly. You know, that wouldn't exactly be a comment, you know. Mm. Of course. Uh, sorry. Well, what is it you wanted to talk about? Actually, what caught my eye was this thing you're carrying. This. Ready for me? Um, it's like a radio. It's a radio control car, isn't it? It's not a car. <laughs> mm. What a terrible name! It's he's called Bobot, but Bobot might be a terrible name too. It's a better name than the radio control car. Coming from the time to think of it, come to think of it, not at all. It's a fine name. Oh. Really? Phew! It just hit me. You know, maybe it's a bad name. I mean, who knows? You know what I mean? Mm. Hey, wait. Do you think this is neat? Huh? Do you think this stuff like this is neat? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, I mean, it looks like a radio controlled car. No, it doesn't. It looks like a radio controlled robot, maybe. <laughs> a radio controlled toy would work. Mm -hmm. A radio controlled toy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this radio control business is. Mm. But if you think robot is neat, we probably have a lot in common. You want to come over to my house and see the rest of my stuff? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I'd love to come to your house and see the rest of your stuff. <laughs> that would be. Would that be okay? Oh, then guys can pick me up, but I don't pick up guys. Okay, so don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> I understand perfectly. I don't, except for the fact that you were trying to uh, hit on a dude. All right, <laughs> all right then. My name is Precious 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 Newman. Mm. How do you do? Mm. Uh. Oh, I'm Claude. Claude Kinney. Mm. Uh, nice to meet you, Claude. Nice to meet you, Claude. Mm. Nice to meet you, Claude. I got a uh, hooray for me. Because I was like, Rena's a bit higher in the same kind of voice. Like, what the heck, Claude? Oh, my God. <laughs> hooray for me. I'm going to lower it with hers. Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, I'll figure it out, though. Something like that. Oh. Hey, Claude, uh, how old are you now? Mm. Nineteen, what do you ask? Well, that puts us only three years apart. Well, then it's okay. Is it? <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it is. Uh, yeah. On, on Expel, maybe. <laughs> on uh, Earth, uh, especially in a certain country. <laughs> you know, I don't know. The country I live in, you know, a certain country. I have certain countries. I don't know about that. What do you think? What do you think? Yes, this is a cutscene. This is the in game graphics cutscene from back in those old days. Mm, and it's awesome still. Hey, Claude, you know the girl with the blue hair you're traveling with? Is she your girl or something? Mm. Is she your girl or something? No, no, no. Why, you uh, no. Ah. So this is your house? Yep. So you know about my house, huh? Mm. You know about my house, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Come on in. Mm. You know, Rena and Princess's dad are hanging out. <laughs> come here. Uh, come here. Come, come here. Mm, yeah. And the dad. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Rena? God, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I gotta work on that voice now. Papa, stop being such a jerk. If you're going on a date, just tell me you're going on a date, okay? Mm -mm. It's like, who's the jerk here, huh? If you're gonna bring men 